Hi, it's Rudy. So we were on our way somewhere else when this came up. Dobrev down. Ferret calls you in the Argos Command Center where you find multi where you find the view screen overflowing with the grainy hollow images and dossiers. Multiple sources confirm that an unknown spacecraft crashed into a saltwater lake on Mantharaka about a month ago. Her surviving crew was medivaced. Medi evac to an orbiting station. Wherever they were all found to be have suffering misjump induced injuries. Oh interesting. That's the Dobrib. Fair pumps her fist. Her smile radiant with triumph. It has to be. Darius nods. Yes, and that was good news. The bad news is we're not the only company on the derelict's trail. The Black Widow has been carving a bloody trail across the, flint, uh, across the frontier, burning out black market sites on over a dozen worlds. And I have reliable information that she's moving towards Manthraka. Manthraka. Serbri shakes her head. If we fight the Black Widow, she's going to end us. This is bad idea, Commander. Ferris shrugs. So we move fast. If we recover the Dobrev's navigation logs before she gets there, we won't even need to fight. If it comes to a fight, we can beat her. You let your voice take a hard edge. I'm not afraid of Natasha Karinsky. Blood Eagle Company beat the Black Widow Company back on Appian. And if it comes to a fight, I will gladly do it again. Darius crosses his arms over his chest. The commander's right. We can beat the Black Widow. All we need to do is be prepared. Simmery's lips tighten, but she says nothing. Eventually, she sighs. I'll mark Mantharaka on the star map, but we better not go before we're ready. When I, when, uh, I land us there, we're going to be committed to seeing this through to the end. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. Let's just keep it steady. Now let's set a new course. We were going all the way up here to a flashpoint, but... That bang of hounds looks cool too, but I think this is the one, right? Yeah. Black Widow Company. 31 days. Oh, crap. Okay. So we need to finish going to Charnavon. Mealy in the mech bay. You're speaking to Yang in the mech bay when the yelling starts. Across the bay, a pair of your mech warriors face off in front of a battle mech. You gather just as Behemoth pulls back to throw a punch at Thief. Go train, you dum dums. You raise your voice, and both mech warriors turn to you. Behemoth's fists relaxing. If you mech warriors have a dispute, go settle it in the battle pods. Frankly, you both need the practice. The mech warriors grumble and wander off. You hear later from Yang that the behemoth absolutely trashed Thief, just destroyed him in a simulated battle, and the Thief has been moping ever since. Behemoth gets 50, Thief gets 150 for his loss and low spirits. It looks like we've arrived. An uncommon weapon is not that interesting to me. But the Dobrev is. Roger that, Commander. Course plotted. This is gonna be a long trip. Hopefully there'll be some more events on the way. I didn't even look. I didn't see any restrictions on weight. They better not be, because I'm going to go in heavy. They say that Black Widow's as good as they say she is. She better not headshot everybody. I mean, what a way to go out, though. Killed by the Black Widow.
I don't know if there was books for Battletech. You guys read any Battletech books? I know that there's like a tabletop game and there's a video game, Mech Warrior games, but did they have like a canon? You know, like a world lore? Because I've never heard of these guys. Expensive flying from one end of the galaxy to the other. there. I'd love it if these guys made another harebrained schemes, if they made another one of these. Or at least build on it. Alright, this one better pay pretty well. Our nest egg is just about gone. Every time, Darius, every time. Shanavan one disappeared. Oh well. Real lives of mech warriors. You and Darius are networking in a planetside bar. As Darius fetches the first round, you overhear the two loud whispers from a nearby table. I'm telling you, those two are mech warriors. A hissed response. What would you know? It's not like uh, it's not like on the holovids. Out of the corner of your eye, you scan the group and it's like you're gazing into your own past. Three young nobles casually stare in your direction, pampered and comfortable. Written all over their eager faces is a feeling you remember too well, looking for an escape from their safe, predictable lives. Let's invite them to a meeting with a client. They recover from the initial shock and accept your invitation to meet with a new potential client. En route, they pepper you with questions, some hopelessly naive, but some insightful. Their enthusiasm wanes, however, when they see the disreputable pirates you're negotiating with. After, after the scoundrels depart, you say, Do you know what happens next? Darius and I put four good mech warriors' lives at stake. Some of them might not make it back, but we'll get paid, and we'll repair and heal up. And we'll do it all again. That's the life. Until it isn't. Two of the nobles are visibly shaken. The last one looks you square in the eyes. You recognize that spark of defiance and determination. Cool. Alright, no restrictions, so we, they're probably coming in heavy too. <laughs> five skull, this will be our first five skull. This should be fun. Long engagement, rare items. This is the point in overturn, Commander. When you pull the trigger on this drop, you may well be committing to a confrontation with the Black Widow. We better be ready. Don't you worry. Stand off. High orbit. Mantharaka. It's official, Commander. we found the Dobrev. Sabri's taken a dozen hollow pics of it already. Meyer, care to throw an image at our derelict on the view screen? Sure thing, Exo. Brace yourself, Commander. It isn't pretty. An image of an unfamiliar vessel fills your view screen. It appears to have come to a rest in a body of deep water. The bulk of the wrecked ship is completely submerged. The Dobrev superstructure is warped and bent, presumably, presumably by the cumulative effects of multiple misjumps. Well, at least this time they won't be able to run off with it. That ain't nothing, but as much as I hate to say it, I've got news of my own. 
You may want to sit down for this. Out with you, Yang. What's going on? You remember that crate of parts the bounty hunter gave us? The one that I loudly proclaimed to be an obvious trap? What about it? It was a trap. One of my mech techs found a tracking device embedded right in the metal. Damn thing's been pinging our location to the nearest APG relay every time we jumped. The bounty hunter is following us, is what I'm saying. Has been since we parted ways on independence. And I have a sinking suspicion that I know why. He's after the Dobrev, and we've just led him straight to it. That's pretty much the size of it. So now you've got two great, big ticking clocks hanging over our heads. The Black Widow's one of them, the Bounty Hunter's the other. Either of those two could casually murder our entire company, Commander. If we don't pick up the pace, we're going to have to fight them both at once. I guess we would better move fast. Is the Motor Bjorn online ready to go? My remaining combat drones are ready to deploy, Commander Mother Leva. They will provide fire support for your lance in the field. I'll go make sure that our mech warriors are ready to drop. Let's go do it, people. We got a job to do and better do it fast. Are you kidding me? I got an opportunity to possibly kill the Black Widow and the Bounty Hunter at once? And we're trying to avoid that option? It's disappointing. All right. We found the Dobrev, and this time it's in no condition to run. No money, but a ton of salvage. Time is of the essence here, so uh, we're going to deploy alongside Motibaron's drones, hit the Bauman group fast, hit them hard, and wipe the AO clean. After we've taken the Dobrev, we'll discuss our next steps. Move fast, Rudy. The Black Widow and the Bounty Hunter are on their way. I'm into it, man. I'm into it. All right, Decker, go sit down. Uh, let's go with Archangel here. I'll keep the other two in. Alright, Bull Shark over here. You back in the Annihilator. Archangel. Why don't you take the Atlas? Could take in both of the atlases, but just for variety, let's take in the Highlander instead. Okay, glitch behemoth, mother lover, and archangel. Hopefully, they'll all make it back. This is our first five skull on the channel, I think. Gonna have to play this one carefully, or we're gonna get uh, beat up. There's a time limit before those guys actually hit the field. Alright, let's do this. Command interface initiated. This entire AO is crawling with Bowman Group mercenaries, Commander. It looks like they're preparing to make a last stand. Last stand? Unlikely. They're hired guns, not zealots. They're probably just trying to hold the wreck long enough for Bowman's salvage teams to finish looting it. That's still longer than we can afford. If we don't clean out that derelict, the Black Widow and the Bounty Hunter are going to come right down on top of us. We don't want to be here when they arrive. My drones are online and ready to assist you, Commander. They will divide the enemy and provide you with fire support. And Yang and I are standing by on board of the wreck of the Dorbrev as soon as the AO is clear to board. Okay, everybody's got their roles. A few heavy drones to follow. But where is the Dobrev? Acknowledged.
Eight Everybody moving and in cover. Okie dokie. Three, potentially four. 90, 195. These guys came to play. With sensor lock. Got a lock. They got their own atlas. They've got a sensor lock on me. Do they? What can I do for you? I await your command. All right, let's square up here. Still in cover. Engaging target. Looks like he's got an AC-20. That's an awesome. Waiting for orders. These aren't going to be great On shots, but at least they're shots. This is open. Was huh? that a battle master? Hey, they got the knockdown. That's awesome. What are you? A banshee, right? Pretty tough. Oh, this seems like a perfect time. This probably won't kill them, but. They're definitely not gonna like it. Engaging target. Heads up, Commander. We've got an incoming Bowman Group dropship. I'm marking its projected LG, LZ on your screen. Great. Pretty useful, those Motor Bjorn. Heading out. Atlas down. Probably can't do 200. Might be able to kill the pilot. Left torso, left arm, head hit. Scored a critical hit. Not bad. drone should be getting into cover. Okay, the Atlas is up. Ouch. Not, not great, though. I mean, not terrible. His shots weren't great.
I'll take my shot first and then I'll move. Boom, I didn't mean to hit the uh, center torso, but I'll take it. The thumper cannon is badass. I should have spent that three mil I didn't have on the mortar or whatever it was. Okay, they got their own Highlander. I live to serve. I'm walking here. All right, let's shift over here. They're gonna have to pick targets. Vigilance. Now let's see how you handle this. Head hit, not bad. Open them up. If they focus fire on him, the drones will do a lot of good damage here. Hey, they want to strip evasion. That works for me too. Hey, hey, hey. Where's all this hostility coming from? Damage minimal. I hear ya. Moving out. Strike. Ooh, that was a good center shot. PPC crit. Another hit like that and you're toast. Let's hope. Okay. Wasn't the best plan. Bowman Group just sent down an assault lance commander. Careful, they look like they're in decent repair. Coming transmission. I tire of throwing battle max your way, Mother Leva. Every element of this ridiculous crusade is tiresome. I will see you extinguished. I swear it. He's going to be disappointed. Standing by. On my way. I don't really feel sorry for him. One good more, one more good hit. He's going down. That's not what I meant, but yeah, that works. Right where that atlas went down. Orders. Might as well finish him. Copy that. A little bit overkill. That's a kill. He's not getting up though. Oh, that's very nice. Rest of those guys just get a little bit closer. Love the grin on that bull shark. Maybe we can take that one home. Did hit the pilot. 
Not bad. Nobody likes that. Uh-huh. It's a vigilance because we're out of cover. Time to die. Not sure why this guy turned around. Yeah, critical hit. Pompons and skirt, because I'm damn excited now. Good to go. I don't follow exactly what he meant by that, but you betcha. That's okay. However, you want to, you know, you do you, man. Uh huh. Okay, not bad hits. Is that a knockdown? When I shoot too? you, you'll take it and like it. Nice. Not a dead pilot. Standing by. Just a little closer. Acknowledged. Don't be shy. Everybody bunch up. <laughs> Engaging. There we go. Head destroyed. And legs destroyed. Hope we can salvage that. Parts of it anyway. Going the wrong way. Okay, not too bad. Cooled off quite a bit. I'm here. There we go. Going full throttle. in my headphones. Another banshee, eh? That's almost really good. Waiting for orders. Coordinates received. I better precision strike. Everybody in the cover. Acknowledged. Missed the head. Totally missed the head. I like where the drones are, though. Providing fire support.
can't quite hit all of them, can I? Maybe if I move. Shots mostly misses. Daniel. Moving to position. Might as well hit this highlighter. Locking target. Starting to get costly. Armor breached. Internal damage. All right. Well, let's definitely use the thumper cannon now. Engaging target. spots. Back up and take a right facing here. That thumper cannon 
Revenge should have started everybody off. strike here. On the Banshee, he's already hurt. Is that it? I'm All right, folks, let's get this done. At least they're starting to spread it around now. What's up, boss? That banshee's going down. Got it. Right arm, PPC crit. Critical hit, Commander. Just the unsteady. And these drones might do the trick for us. Oh, wow. Just hoping for the knockdown. That'll work too. Yeah, it's not focused on the bull shark anymore. You got nothing, you hear me? Oh, yeah, definitely come out of here. Over here, out of cover. That's the, I love that plan. from here maybe let's do a precision strike same for his head oh wow we did it we just headshot everybody I don't think we had an Orion before, so that's cool. Which leaves what? Two? Yeah, not bad. I will be done. Playing it a little safe. Vigilance here because he's not in cover. Oh, a Cyclops. Cool. I 
hear ya. All right, glitch. You don't need to tell me twice. Should be a reasonable shot. Center line on the archer. Special delivery! Looks like we messed with the goss and the coil. Hey, let's slip the dogs of war. Heavy fire. Okay, but here's an archangel. Let's clean this up before. Searcher. Commander? 
knowledge. Let's just get everybody moving. I'm stuck up on this rock. Sprint on here too. Oh, that's no good. It's not over. Here. We're already pretty badly hurt. It'd be hard to replace this. Oh hell yeah! Waiting for orders. No, nope, receiving you. Yes, yeah, very good. Acknowledged. Precision strike. I don't want to hit the left torso. I don't want to hit him in the head. Taking the shot. Got the knockdown. Another pilot injured. There we go. Beautiful shot. That's done it, Commander. The Bowman Group's defenses have crumbled. Then it's go time, Yang. Dr. Murad, get in there. We've got our window to search the Dobrev, but it's already beginning to close. Motor Bjorn, how long do you think it'll take for your charts on the ship's nav computer to find them? Unknown. The Dobrev has suffered an unspecified amount of damage from a series of misjumps. Given its current position, it could also be flooded. It is impossible to say what condition its navigation computer will be in until I examine it myself. We'll find out soon enough. I'll check back in with you after we've gotten back up to the Argo, Commander. Marauder out. Mission successful. Hey, not bad. Just some repairs on the bull shark. Man, they keep teasing me. Like those legendary mech warriors are just going to show up. I want them to. Even that five skull wasn't that hard. I don't know if it was because we had the drones or what. One repair, no injuries. Okay. Well, give me that full cyclops. Thank you. I can get a full Highlander here. I could get another full Highlander. I can get a full Banshee right there. I don't know if I have an Orion, but I could get a full Orion. Or a full other Highlander. I bet you the Highlander is worth more. Yeah, that's a 30 million haul. 30 million dollar sea bill. Holy crap. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. And make some decent bank here. It's a shame I can't look and see what I have in storage before I start selling these, but I am going to have to sell a couple of them. Definitely going to keep the Cyclops. Probably sell the Banshee. Maybe one other. That mech you wanted is back online. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. Two that Highlanders. Mech he asked for is cleared for fighting. 
Cyclox 10Q is a strong support unit. Model instead, uh, instead of being a long range, or a close range, sorry, it capitalizes on longer range weapon and configuration and added armor. Uh, the protection and expanded missile racks make it a significant threat at range in the right hands. Cool. That mech you wanted is back online. Damn, alright. Okay, let's sell... Let's send this one to storage. Let's sell this because we have one. Right there. Oh. These are all different ones. What's different about this one? Scrap that one. Save the Cyclops. Sell the Banshee. Wow, that's worth quite a bit. Standoff 2, High Orbit, Mantharaka. Okay, Commander. I've plugged the Motor Bjorn into the Dobrev and it's working to access the derelict's navigation logs. The ship is strange. Very Spartan, very cold. Never seen anything quite like it. It's just a ship, Doc. Try not to read too much into it. As far as the salvage op is concerned, we're making progress, but it's slow. Most of the ship's already been picked clean by the Bowman Group. We're analyzing the Dobrev schematics for anything they may have missed, hidden cargo bays, that sort of thing, but it's going to take time. Keep looking, Motor Bjorn. What's the status of the Dobrev's nav computer? Damaged, but operable. Star charts and navigation logs have suffered mild to moderate data loss. In layperson's terms, the files are scrambled, but not ir irreparably so. Restoring them will take time, however. How much time are we talking about? Unknown. The Dobrev's file system is reminiscent of the term technology that was used to build me, but there are differences that I am at a loss to explain. These unexpected discrepancies are complicating the file recovery process. Yeah, of course they are. All this uncertainty is making me nervous. The Black Widow and the Bounty Hunter are coming, Commander. We don't have time to screw around. Speaking of which, we're being hailed. That's Bowman. I'm surprised he hasn't crawled off with his tail between his legs. Put him on the view screen. Congratulations, Commander. You've won. Behold the fruits of your victory. The flooded wreck of a doomed ship. The carcass of a marvel. Cut to the chase, Bowman. What do you want? What do you think? I want you to collect your team and leave. I won't force you. I've grown wary of feeding individuals into the meat grinder that you call a company. But perhaps the carrot will succeed where the stick has failed. I will pay you two million sea bills for what's left of the Dovrev. That's my offer. Take it or leave it. Give me a minute to discuss it with my crew. I muted our mics. He can't hear us. I don't know about the rest of you, but cutting and running is sounding really good to me right about now. The bounty hunter and the Black Widow are on their way here, in person, to take the ship. If Knocker Bowman wants to pay us to walk away from that, I say we let him. Summary, no. No way. We cannot do this, Commander. We're on the cusp of solving one of the greatest mysteries in the history of the human race. If the Motor Bjorn is allowed to finish its task, if it recovers those navigation charts, we could find what became of the Star League. That's more important than money. I don't want to leave yet either. I didn't drag my entire salvage crew onto this sunken death trap just to walk away with nothing. Besides, do you really want to stab Mama Bear in the back? It's a machine, Yang. It isn't like it, its feelings will get hurt. Look, the Motor Bjorn's story is sympathetic. I get that. But this quest it's on, finding the Star League in super deep space, maybe hundreds of KF jumps away. It's a pipe dream. Deep down, you all know there's nothing out there. Your mama bear is chasing ghosts. Your answer, please. Your minute is up, and I have a business elsewhere to attend to. Yeah, keep your money. We're keeping the Dobrev. And you are a great fool, but that is your prerogative, I suppose. When you fail to extract anything of value from your shipwreck, remember the offer you turned away. Goodbye, Commander Mother Lava. See you later, Knocker. Bowman's face winks out the view screen as he severs his comm connection. 
That's it then. We're about to get the shit kicked in, but our shit kicked in by the two biggest badasses in the known universe. And we gave up two million sea bills for the opportunity. Excuse me while I find a corner to weep in quietly in. I need your head in the game, Meyer. Get frosty. Now. We don't have much time before our enemies arrive, and we better be ready when they do. Two hours later. It's time, Commander. I've got visual on the Black Widow's dropship, and the Argos sensors just picked up an emergence signature that probably came from the bounty hunter. Anyone want to take bets on which of the team will kill us first? Neither. We're going to fight them, and we're going to win. This company built itself up from nothing. We've fought for every inch of progress we've made, and then when the day is done, we'll be on the frontier. We'll be the frontier mercenaries who fought against not one but two living legends and one honest to god giant killers. And it'll happen because that's what we are. Damn right. Hail the Black Widow's drop ship. Tell her that I demand a parlay. Moments after Sumeri sends the hail, Black Widow's face swims onto your view screen. Her, exp her expression radiates hostility. Whatever good fortunes you've been coasting on just ran out, Mother Lava. When your cockpit collapses in around you, remember that I gave you a way out of this. Remember that you refused it. You want a piece of me? The feeling's mutual, so you can consider this a formal challenge. We fight, lance against lance, winner takes the derelict. You're stalling, trying to buy time. For what, I wonder? The Dobrev will never fly again, that much is obvious. Perhaps you're looting her for trinkets, but it doesn't matter. None of your people are going to make it off this rock alive. We'll make you eat those words, Kerensky. Our lance will meet you on the battlefield. And I will bury them there. She cuts the line. You know, boss, even if you manage to disable the Black Widow's mech somehow, she'll just eject and get in another one. It's only a matter of time before she makes it to the Dobrev. I don't know about you, Doc, but I don't want to be around when she does that. We're on the same page, believe me. The moment the Motor Bjorn finishes collecting its navigation logs, we'll be ready to run. After we're safely back aboard the Argo, the Black Widow can do whatever she wants with the Dobrev. We won't need it. We don't need to protect the derelict indefinitely, I get that, but there's one thing I haven't gotten straight answer on yet. How the hell are we supposed to win a fight against the Black Widow? And h how the double hell are we supposed to beat her and the bounty hunter at the same time? We won't need to beat them. All we need to do is live long enough for them to beat each other. Because they hate each other. Right. The blood feud she told us about back on Appian. This could work. I'm still scared shitless, mind you, but yeah, it could work. It's worth a shot. I'll have my team back on the Argo hump the bounty hunter's crate into the Leopard's cargo bay. In theory, it'll lure him right to us. Commander Mother Lover gave us a plan, people. It's our jobs to carry it out. Now get your war faces on. The enemy's at our doorstep, and we're going to show them how it's done. Are we dropping in right now? Okay, when we come back, this big showdown. This is going to be fun. We get to fight not one, but two legendary mech warriors. It'll only take one day? Yeah, hmm. If I store the awesome... Yeah, if I store the awesome, can I put that Cyclops back into spin? Ready, you. Well, I've warmed up ASAP. Got a couple people to level up, too, looks like. Yes, Commander. Oh, Archangel, good for you. Uh, let's go 10 on gunnery. Mech warrior training complete. Good Still not go. hitting all his shots. Waiting for orders. All right, Decker. Training confirmed. What's up your gunnery, too? I hear you. I'm here. We 
we could start focusing her. Or I can make her really average. Training complete. We'll focus her after this. How's it going? Orders? Ready for orders. Standing by. Yes, command. Commander. All right, we're gonna have to take the best of the best. Waiting on you, those. commander. I think we'll probably go uh, same as last time, but with witness instead of archangel. Let's see if there's anybody useful on this planet. Not really. Guy who calls himself hero. Betcha he dies real fast. They're selling bull shark parts. Piece of a crab. And that's it. What do you got on the black market? Three parts of an annihilator. Full annihilator. Atlas, Banshee, Black Knight. There's a full bull shark, another one. Victor Warhammer, a Zeus. Interesting. They got some decent weapons. Tag. Target acquisition gear. 20% damage mark. Energy and ballistic. Cool. Hook me up. New weapon systems available. Okay. I think that's it for this episode, everybody. Thank you for joining me. When we come back, we're going to kick two legendary mech warriors but <laughs> if you like the video leave a like if you didn't leave a dislike if you haven't already please subscribe and i'll see you guys all next time tell you no i don't fuck around i'm playing every day tell you no i don't fuck around Ask your mom to tell you the same